let us discuss questions from previous question papers. We are going to discuss questions from the question papers of SSLC examination 2019 and model examination 2019. First question. In the figure, angle B equal to 90 degree, angle C equal to 44 degree. What is the measure of angle A? Which among the following is tan 44? AB by BC, AB by AC, BC by AB, BC by AC. Prove that tan 44 into tan 46 equal to 1. It's a question from SSLC examination 2019 and the score is 3. Let us look at the figure once again. First of all, we have to find angle A. We know some of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degree and here angle B is 90 degree. Therefore, angle A plus angle C equal to 90 degree. So, angle A equal to 90 minus 44 that is equal to 46. That is angle A equal to 46 degree. Now, we have to find tan 44. Tan 44 means opposite side of angle C by adjacent side. Here opposite side of angle C is AB and adjacent side is BC. Therefore, tan 44 equal to AB by BC. Let us find tan 46 also. That is BC by AB. Now, tan 44 into tan 46 equal to AB by BC into BC by AB. AB and AB get cancels. Again, BC and BC get cancels. So, we get 1. That is tan 44 into tan 46 equal to 1. Second question. In the figure, P is the center of the circle. A, B and D are points on the circle. Angle P equal to 90 degree, AD equal to 5 centimeters. What is the measure of angle A? What is the area of triangle APD? Find the area of parallelogram ABCD. It's a question from SSLC examination 2019 and the score is 4. Look at the figure. Here AP and PD are radius of the same circle so they are equal therefore APB is an isosceles triangle so two angles are equal and angle P equal to 90 degree therefore the remaining angles are 45 degree each therefore angle A equal to 45 degree now we have to find the area of triangle APB for that we need to find AP and PD. You know both AP and PD are equal. It's an isosceles right angle triangle. So the ratio of the sides is 1 is to 1 is to root 2. That is AP is to PD is to AD equal to 1 is to 1 is to root 2. Let us consider PD and AD. That is PD is to AD. That is equal to 1 is to root 2. Here AD is 5. Replacing we get PD is to 5 equal to 1 is to root 2. Now we know if A is to B equal to C is to D, then AD equal to BC. That is product of N terms equal to product of the middle terms. Therefore, PD into root 2 equal to 5 into 1. That is PD into root 2 equal to 5. Therefore, PD equal to 5 by root 2. So, AP also equal to 5 by root 2 because AP and PD are equal in length. Now, area of the triangle APD equal to half into AP into P. That is half into 5 root 2 into 5 root 2. Now let us multiply in the numerator 1 into 5 into 5 that is 25 
in the denominator root 2 into root 2 is 2 2 into 2 is 4 so we get 25 by 4 centimeter square area of the triangle APD equal to 25 by 4 centimeter square now we have to find the area of the parallelogram ABCD let us first find the side AB which is the diameter of the circle and we know diameter is 2 times radius so that is equal to AB equal to 2 into 5 by root 2 now 2 can be written as root 2 into root 2 so 2 into 5 by root 2 can be written as root 2 into root 2 into 5 by root 2 now 1 root 2 can be cancelled and we get 5 root 2 that is the length of AB is 5 root 2 centimeters now let us find the area of the parallelogram ABCD that is equal to BH B is a side and H is the distance from that side to its opposite side here AB is a side that is B equal to 5 root 2 and H means PD we have already found it as 5 by root 2 so area of parallelogram ABCD equal to 5 root 2 into 5 by root 2 now root 2 and root 2 get cancels and we get 5 into 5 that is equal to 25 centimeters square that is area of parallelogram ABCD equal to 25 centimeter square third question a boy standing at one bank of a river sees the top of a tree on the other bank directly opposite to the boy at an elevation of 60 degree stepping 40 meters back he sees the top at an elevation of 30 degree draw a rough figure and find the height of the tree what is the width of the river? It's a question from SLC examination 2019 and the score is 5. First of all, let us draw the rough figure. Let us draw the river at first. Then draw the tree. The height of the bow is not given. So, he is a point. He is standing here and he sees the top of the tree at an elevation of 60 degree elevation means he has to look straight at first and then he has to look upwards to the top of the tree the angle between them is 60 degree now he is stepping 40 meter backwards and from there he sees the top at an elevation of 30 degree he looks straight at first then he looks to the top of the tree angle between them is 30 degree this is the rough figure let us give a name for convenience now we have to find the width of the river that is bc in the figure let the width of the river be x and height of the tree be y let us look at the triangle ABC. Consider the angle 60. AB is the opposite side and BC is the adjacent side. So let us take tan 60 that is equal to AB by BC or Y by X. Now the value of tan 60 is root 3. So we can write it as root 3 equal to Y by X. Cross multiplying we get y equal to root 3x now consider the triangle ABD look at angle 30 degree AB is the opposite side and BD is the adjacent side let us take tan 30 which is equal to opposite side by adjacent side or AB by BD AB equal to y and BD equal to x plus 40 now the value of tan 30 is 1 by root 3 so it can be written as 1 by root 3 equal to y by x plus 40 cross multiplying we will get x plus 40 equal to root 3 
y. Now substitute the value of y equal to root 3 x in equation 2. So we will get x plus 40 equal to root 3 into root 3 x. Root 3 into root 3 is 3. So we can write it as x plus 40 equal to 3 x. Taking x on the other side we get 40 equal to 3 x minus 6 or 40 equal to 2x therefore x equal to 40 by 2 or 20 and x means width of the river so we can write width of the river equal to 20 meters now let us find height of the tree in the figure height of the tree is ab and we have taken it as y and we have already got y equal to root 3x and now we got the value of x as 20 Replacing we get height of the tree equal to 20 root 3 meters. Fourth question. In triangle PQR, angle Q equal to 90 degree, angle R equal to x degree. Lengths of sides PQ, QR and PR are ABC respectively. Which among the following is tan x degree? A by C, B by A, A by B, B by C. Similarly, write sin x and cos x from this triangle. Prove that sin x by cos x equal to tan x. It's a question from model examination 2019 and the score is 4. We have to find tan x degree. Tan x means opposite side by adjacent side. Here opposite side of angle x degree is a and adjacent side is b so tan x equal to a by b now we have to find sin x sin x means opposite side by hypotenuse that is a by c now cos x is adjacent side by hypotenuse that is b by c now we have to prove that sin x by cos x equal to tan x let us take sin x by cos x that is equal to a by c by b by c. Now division by a fraction means multiplication by its reciprocal. Here a by c should be divided by b by c. It is enough to multiply a by c by the reciprocal of b by c that is by c by b. So we can write it as a by c into c by b. C and C get cancels and we get A by B and A by B means that is equal to tan x degree. So we can say sin x by cos x equal to tan x. Fifth question. A boy is standing between two buildings of equal height. The boy and the buildings are in a straight line. He sees the tops of the buildings at elevations 45 degree and 30 degree. The nearest building is 20 meters away from him. Draw a rough figure. Find the height of the buildings and distance between the buildings. It's a question from model examination 2019 and the score is 5. Let us draw the rough figure at first. Let us draw the ground at first. Now we can draw two buildings of equal height. Let the buildings be A, B and B. D, e. Let the boy be at the point C. Now he sees the top of the buildings at elevations 45 degree and 30 degree. Why this angle is 45 and this is 30? We know both the buildings are of equal height. When the boy is very near to the building, he has to move his head upwards more than he is away from the building. Therefore, this angle is 45 and this angle is 30 degree. Now, given that the distance to the nearest building is 20 meter. Now, look at the triangle ABC. It's a right angle triangle and angle C equal to 45. Therefore, angle A is also equal to 45. That means it's an isosceles triangle. 
So sides opposite to equal angles are also equal. Given that BC equal to 20 meter, therefore AB is also equal to 20 meter. That means the height of the buildings are 20 meters. Now look at triangle CDE. Angle C is 30 degree, therefore angle E equal to 60 degree. Therefore the ratio of the sides of the triangle is 1 is to root 3 is to 2. That is DE is to CD is to CE equal to 1 is to root 3 is to 2. DE is given and we need to find CD. So let us take the ratio of DE and CD. That is DE is to CD equal to 1 is to root 3. Now DE is 20. Replacing we get 20 is to CD equal to 1 is to root 3. That is CD equal to 20 root 3. Now we can find the distance between the buildings. That is BD in the figure. And BD can be written as BC plus CD. Now BC is 20 meter and now we got CD is 20 root 3 meters. Now 20 means 20 into 1. 20 root 3 means 20 into root 3. So we can take 20 outside and we can write 20 into 1 plus root 3 meters. So the distance between the buildings equal to 20 into 1 plus root 3 meters.